In today's session of our video, we're gonna take a look at the first new Tower 2 coming into Clash Run on January 1st. Today's video is all about showing guys gameplay and stats of the new cannon here. I'm also gonna tell you about the new chest where you're able to unlock him from. Before we go into the gameplay of the cannon here, we're gonna start off with the new season information because there are a ton of new stuff coming in. Of course, as, as always, the new season Valhalla is gonna be called. Of course, as always, at level 13, you're gonna be able to get the newest evolution for the Pass Royale. But if you wanna buy the Pass Royale, by the way, make sure to use code Mart in the shop. And of course, you also will get an exclusive emote as uh, or like exclusive banner as always and also next to emote at stage 49 this is by the way the tower skin i personally think it's really cool but this is of course the tower skin we were just able to get through the pass royale so guys this last six emotes are the emotes you're going to be able to get through this season this is the emote from the pass royale this is going to be the emote which you're able to get in-game purchase this is from the season shop and the rest of the emotes are going to be just like with, uh, from the pass of path of legends as you guys can see here we're just going to take a look here this will be one of the canon here emotes and also other ones are just available unfortunately for in-game purchases but these are the emotes of course really focus on the evolution volume and also the newest tower troop coming into clash royale the cannon near of course we also got a ton of banners but i don't really care about them so i'm not going to show it to you the booster cards for this season will be the valkyrie zappy spatula three musketeers so in case you care about them this will be the stuff you're gonna get and now we're gonna take a look first of all about the royal tournaments as you guys can see one will be the double evolution tournament most likely it's not really 100 confirmed yet i just hope so the next one will be the classic draft one of the most hated one i don't know why you would add classic draft if the, when like a uh, mega draft is available but the normal royal tournament is starting at the 6th of january goes on like four days until the 10th and the royal tournament in the classic draft mode starts at the 20th of january and goes on once again four days until the 24th of january so guys let's take a look at the challenge and i feel like the change are really really cool itself but the rewards are kind of lacking in my opinion the first one will be the cannon Dina launch challenge of course kind of celebrating the new cannon here coming in from the 5th um, of january to the 8th of january then we got the cannon Dina draft challenge which will be interesting will be the 12th of uh, or like until 15 these are also rewards you both get like a banner if you win this challenge then we get the valkyrie draft um evolution uh, not valkyrie evolution draft challenge which will be available from the 19th until the 22nd you will get like this really really cool banner here once again then we get the free elixir merch challenge we also get just the banner i really feel like just like banner in my opinion banner are less like way less variable compared to um emotes i'm really i already gave super self feedback i don't really agree with the banner decision there but yeah as i said it's just my thing from the 26th of january until the 29th then we got a dark elixir challenge as you guys can see here no it's actually the normal dark elixir challenge first from the 2nd of february until the 5th and then we also Get at the same time from the second um, to the fifth, we got like the free uh, the Dark Galaxy 2v2 challenge. So these are going to be the challenges for this. Did I, did I mention if the free Elixir merge challenge I did? So these are the challenges for this uh, season. I personally think the challenges are really cool compared to the other ones. But I just feel like the rewards are kind of lacking. So for every single of this five um, or from the six challenges, you will be just able to get like a banner, which I feel like is a bit underwhelming, to be honest. So guys, now we finally take a look at the newest Tower Troop Cannoneer coming into Clash Royale. As you guys can see here, we got the Prince on this spot. We got the Cannoneer that kind of like don't care about the levels. They don't really make sense because as I said, like the Prince level is kind of level you have right now. So you don't need to start from zero. But with the Cannoneer, you need to unlock it first. So you, as you guys can see here, this is like a troop how it works. And you guys saw it's already so it's basically a troop which has like a ton of damage but the slowing really really slow and also doesn't have the same which i think like is the most interesting thing it has the same range as the tower princess but it doesn't really feel the way i don't know if it's like just like some glitchy things but let's kind of compare the stats there so this are the level 11 things so that has 3k hit points um so it has way less hit points right like almost 400 less damage per second is 1 uh, to 75 the damage is 422 so it does of course way more damage compared to that but it also less hp and the hit speed you kind of need to compare right so it's just like you have like a 2.4 second it needs to attack compared to the princess of like 0 0.8 so it's like way slower does way more damage but at the same time has like way a, a way less hp overall compared to the princess tower since i forgot to mention uh, but i think it's pretty obvious of course it's also targeting ground and air so this is like just really important so it doesn't matter if you play against lava hound if you play against a ground unit or golem or something like that it still does damage against everything also super like kind of says about the description here slow but powerful what could be better than a giant cannon on your tower i mean two giant cans i guess so guys as you guys can see here once again the background here against the mega man it's doing a really good job because the mega man is really slow you so you like to have this card against slow 
troops like Mega Man Phoenix because they were gonna get shredded. But as you guys can see here, fast troops like bats, they're just doing an incredible job because the attack speed isn't as fast as it used to be. So against tanks, I feel like the cannon here will be really, really good. But against spam units, against bats, goblin gangs, skeleton armies, you're struggling. You actually can't let like goblins go. Goblins will absolutely shred your tower. Same goes in for bats. You can't let bats go. You can't let minions go because they were just absolutely, I mean like minions are pretty different, right? Because they're not really too many troops. It was a bad example, but like bats, um, like uh, Goblin Gang. These are kind of troops which they do really, really well. Normally, of course, they're also doing some damage, but like really swarmy units are doing exceptionally well. Also the same like for Skeleton King ability, right? You're struggling against it, but you're doing way better against Balloon decks. You're way better doing against like Golem decks, Giant decks, and um, you don't need to defend Mega Man anymore. You don't need to defend Phoenix anymore, but I'm personally not really sure if there's any situation where you feel like the Cannon here is better than the Princess Tower. Personally, like after playing and talking to other Super Saiyan creators, we're feeling like the Cannon here is a bit underwhelming compared to the Princess Tower. So now let's kind of take a look at how to unlock them. And this will be a really disappointing thing. I'm all, I'm, I can't really 1% confirm if it's really happening like that. But so far as we know from Supercell, there won't be like, you need to upgrade it, right? You need to see it as a troop, right? And it will be a rage, uh, 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 not a rage. It will be an epic tower troop. So as you guys can see here, let's take a look at the Princess. It's a common one. But here the tower troop of the cannon here will be an epic one. So like you kind of need to compare to an epic other a card it's like way harder to upgrade and you're just able to get it out of a new cultural chest as i was talking about which will be the tower troop chest which will be like able to be in the sp uh, in the cycle of your um of your troop cycle right like similar to a golden chest similar to a um a silver chest so it really really like it won't be rare you can always get it and when supercell announced tower troops in clash Royale, they made sure the prince's tower will be on the same level as the king tower so when the update dropped supercell kind of changed like of course like the interaction of the princess or not really changing the interaction but just like the card icon is I guess we're seeing so it's like if you're like princess or if your king tower is level 15 your prince tower will be also level 15 but with the cannon here you need to start from level 6 right so normally if you would use the princess there and on a normal account the prince would be also level 15 so if you go in the game it won't be any difference no interaction changes right but you need to start from the cannon here from the uh, from the first level so as you guys can see here currently my king tower is level 15 as you guys can also see there I have the maximum level but my cannon is still level 7 so if we go into the game there you guys will see by the way new loading screen I can share that i'm not gonna use my creator code my king tower will be level 15 but my pioneer towers my arena towers they're just gonna be level 7 and this is of course a huge problem so you always need to upgrade as you guys can see here it's doing okay against the bandit but look at this, right? So of course it's gonna shred the, the cannon here needs instead of like three shots, four shots, because it's way under level. But now you're guys gonna ask, Martin, how do I unlock that? And this is a really interesting topic because we got um we got the care, we got the chest there, as you guys can see here. This is gonna be a chest which will like spawn in a chest cycle, which we're also gonna open. It's like the tower troops chest, so you're able to get it out of them. And also, this will be most like the, the other thing. I guess there will be an offer. I guess there will be a special offer which you're able to pay it um and to like me maybe match your king tower this is at least what i think you're not going to be able to get the the troop the tower troop or from everything else or like uh, otherwise you're not going to get off the normal chest you're not going to be able to buy it through like a super magical chest or like super legendary king chest or something else they're just two abilities out, out of this chest I don't know how it will be affecting in, a, in the chest cycle, and the other one will be through an in-game offer. So, as you guys can see, we're just gonna open it here. This is like just a prime example. So this time we got the princess because the princess is a common card. You need to you need to understand that it's way easier to get the princess compared to the cannoneer. So I'm just gonna open a few more chests and let's see if we finally get the cannoneer out of that. So guys, this example how it would look. Of course, it kind of depends like how high are you like compared to the normal chest. It's exactly the same. So at example, we got 14 cannoneers here. But yeah, as I said, we have no confirmation yet how it will be added to this to the cycle. And yeah, I just feel like it will be a really interesting road to just like get it like leveled up because you don't, as I said, you don't, you're not able to get off the normal chest. You just need to get like a few this chest. I don't know if it's really smart. So I'm mean, just excited to kind of see, especially because it's a bit underwhelming. So you can't un use it under level. How will you compare to the princess? Because I don't see anyone using it after the update drops because nobody's able to unlock it. Besides, maybe in pay to win off on a shop. So, guys, now we're gonna go into the game here against. Yeah, it's not CWA, it's Martin Royale. So, we're just gonna test out some interaction against really important or like troops where I feel like it could be interesting to see. So, we're gonna start off with the golem, and now we're gonna find out how the golem is doing against our cannon. So, the golem is gonna go into the range, and as you guys can see, the cannon here, of course, is doing a ton of damage. I feel like it's better against golem compared to normal tower, right? Of course, you still want something 
um, like as a building, as something else. But overall, I would say it's doing pretty decent because, like, compared to an old Prince, an old Prince wouldn't do anything. So the tower will still die. Um, like my, uh, but like, look at the golem. My right? the golem will be also dead. So I feel like compared to the Prince Tower against beat down heavy tanks, also against giant, of course, it will be way better because against giant, I can guarantee the giant won't get a tower compared to it as it like almost gets to a Prince's Tower. So guys, now we got Tesla against Musketeer. Is it gonna be a really huge difference against the Musketeer? So my cannon will focus the Musketeer, and the Musketeer is just able to get two shots. So this, of course, really big ch interaction change. Okay, that's, that's, that's really good to know. Okay, guys, now I want to test out a really big thing. So how does it do against Balloon? This is, like, the thing I'm, like, the most interested about because normal tower is going to die there. But, like, look at this. So it's going to get, like, two shots, three shots. And now it's going to get, of course, the king does activated. But I still feel like even without the king activation, it would be just one shot on the tower. And this is good to know. Okay, let's try out something swarmy going for the gang there. And so, of course, it's gonna one-shot the goblins, right? Yeah, that's what I expect. But as you guys can see, so it's gonna one-shot the goblins. The extra damage, of course, is helpful. But against the spear goblins, it takes, like, just so, so long. So against swarm troops, especially against skeleton army, against skelly king abilities, against goblin gangs, you really, really, really want to have the prince's tower. So, hmm. The question if, if it, like, against balloon legs, I feel like it's really worth it. Against balloon psychedics, but against lava loon, I just feel like it doesn't really make too big of a difference. So, I don't really think, I don't really... Like, there might be like just 1% of matchups where I prefer the Cannoneer Tower Troop over the Princess Tower Troop. Just because kind of what I'm thinking about. So, I feel like it needs a buff. So, guys, the prime example, as you guys can see here, bats will completely do damage on a tower. So, the King Tower is helping there, but without the King Tower, the Cannoneer wouldn't have done anything. So, this is good to know. So, guys, this could be really interesting now. So, we're just going to test out some interactions again. So, we're just going to see now a giant going on the bridge against our Cannoneer. So, I just want to see, like, how much the Cannoneer does against the giant. How much damage does the giant get compared to the Prince's Tower? So, of course, the Cannoneer is doing a great job. I mean, to be fair, it's still like, of course, it's like way more damage, but overall, it just feels like the, the HP, of course, it has less HP. You need to remember that. So, like, it's still gonna, it's still gonna die. I was wrong. It's still gonna die because it's less HP to the Prince Tower. So, I would say the first buff, which Super Say 1% should do, is making sure to make at least the same, or like, um, giving the Kenya the same uh, HP compared to the Princess Tower Troop. So I guess next up is interaction, which I kind of just wanted to found, uh, find out. So what is happening when I play a monk at the bridge? And now I'm just going to use my ability of the monk, or he's going to use the ability of the monk. <laughs> okay, that's, I just wanted to test out how much damage it's going to be. Okay, that's interesting to know. So I'm just going to go for a musketeer. Okay, good to know. So it's not really doing too much damage on my own tower. But still a lot to be fair, like over 100? Mm. Okay, could be nasty. So let's find out against Rambert. Of course, the King to is helping now. But against Rambert, I feel like it's going to be solid. So it's going to get a, da a charge with the King to helping. It's going to get three shots. Okay, to be fair, it's fine. Could have been better, maybe. Next up, we got the Knight. I'm just going to go for the Knight. I think against Knight, against Valkyrie, against this type of troops, it should do really well, right? But like, it takes like so long to get damage. So it's okay. But it's like not incredibly good. Okay, guys, let's take it over against Wallbreaker. Is he gonna be able to one-shot Wallbreaker? <laughs> he has to, right? Okay, against Wallbreaker? Okay, against Wallbreaker, he's actually way better than the Prince's Tower because if you compare, right, Prince's Tower, um, if you play Wallbreaker the bridge, both of them are connecting. With the Cannoneer, no Wallbreakers getting to Tower. Next up, we got the Skeleton Bro. So I'm just gonna go for Skeleton Bro. So the Skeleton Bro should die really early. No, but it's not gonna get one shot, so... <laughs> against Skeleton Bro, it's also way worse because... The Prince's Tower is gonna one-shot skeletons. The Cannoneer is also doing that, but the Prince's Tower is shooting way faster, so I at least thought, okay, maybe the Skeleton Bow itself would die one-shot from the Cannoneer, but it's also not dying. So if you play Skeleton Bow at the bridge and you don't have any answer, of course, it's also doing like a ton of damage with the Prince Tower, but with the Cannoneer, it's doing even more damage than it used to be. Okay, guys, it's a final test. I want to go for the Hog Rider. <laughs> To be fair, it doesn't really make too much sense because my cannon is gonna die. But against Hawk Ride also doesn't really make too big of a difference. Might be just one shot difference, but overall I would say I know it just feels not really too good. Even against like tanks, it doesn't feel good. So the only real interaction I thought about so far is gonna be wall breaker, which is like, gonna be a really, really big difference. Let me know what you guys think about this. What do you guys think about the cannon? You guys think it's really bad, like like the, the strategy to unlock them because I think Super Star really messed up there. Also, let me know how would you buff it? What which interaction you guys want to see maybe in the second video? And I would say I'm out. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Goodbye.